How are you doing with your fears? How are you doing with your faith? I believe that fearfulness and faith can coexist at the same time until slowly but surely our trust begins to overcome our fears. Faith is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. If you don't use it, it weakens and begins to break down. So how do we build up that muscle of faith? Well, faith is strengthened by the prayerful immersion in the Word of God, in the Scripture. King David writes this in Psalm 56, verse 3. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you, in God whose word I praise, in God I put my trust. I shall not be afraid. What can mere man do to me? The implied answer, nothing. Man can do nothing to me unless God allows it. Jesus himself also answered this question. What can mere man do to me? In Matthew chapter 10, verse 28, Jesus says this. Do not fear those who kill the body but are unable to kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both body and soul in hell. The Bible says again over and over, fear God, fear God. He is the ultimate one to fear. We should not fear those who can kill the body or even a disease that can kill the body. Why? Because if you are safe in Jesus, he's already taken away the sentence of death for you by dying in your place and giving you ultimate life, eternal life. The worst thing that could happen to you, eternal judgment and separation from God, can never now happen to the believer who's in Christ, who's now safe in the arms of Jesus. Now, having said this, let me say two things. First, that does not mean that we act foolishly or rationally. Of course not. We, we take precautions that we need to, to take. Second, David still prayed to be delivered from his oppressors, and we too should continue to cry out to God for deliverance, both deliverance from man and to protect us from any diseases. So we continue to pray, we're not foolish. David goes on and says this in Psalm 56, verse eight. You've taken account of my wanderings. You've put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? God has such a tender care for his own that he knows every time we sigh. He knows every time we cry. He remembers that. David goes on and says in Psalm 56, 10, In God, whose word I praise, in the Lord, whose word I praise, in God I put my trust, I shall not be afraid. What can man do to me? For the second time, David answers, asks that question. For the second time, the answer that he expects is nothing. The Apostle Paul also asked that question. Romans 8.31, Paul writes this, If God is for us, who is against us? I will add to Paul's words, If God is for us, who can be against us? Or what can be against us? Ultimately, no one or no thing can be against us if we're in the ultimate hands of an almighty God who's watching over you and caring for you and has your best in mind. Paul's basis of his answer is based on the work of Jesus Christ for the believer found in Romans 8, 37 through 39, where he says, in all things we are conquerors and that nothing can separate us from the love that is found in Jesus Christ. We slowly but surely overcome our fears by looking to the written word scripture and looking to the living word 
Jesus Christ. Keep safe, keep in touch with each other, and keep close to Jesus.